So I drove it 40 miles. Perfect. A little bit of high idle. Then the following day at my unit, further seven mile was fine until I left the workshop. Then the top speed was 20, 25 miles an hour. I was only running on two cylinders, which was the left side. Anyway, rang up Tim, nothing to do with Tim. Brilliant guy, engine rebuilder. He said, look, I'm driving through this afternoon. He's got a VW show, I'll pop in and have a look. Within 10 seconds, he unscrewed the cutoff valve, tested it, and it knackered. Just one of those things. The carbs are worn, but it just happened to be after he rebuilt it, the top end, the fuel cut off, knackered. Anyway, he had to go up to his show. Luckily at the unit, I had, uh, had these carbs. So I took the part off. He come round this morning on the way back from the car show. He was away for five days. If it was me, I would have just gone home and come up another day. But no, he popped in. Reset everything, running lovely. Next minute, he noticed the choke won't open on the left side. He said, right, jump in my van. We'll go to the workshop, see if you got the part. Luckily again, I got the Sulex choke. Works a treat. So... Back up to running daily again. Absolutely fantastic. I'll quickly show you the cutoff valve. So this just screws in. And you just nick it up. Now it should have a rubber seal there also. also but you can see it's all perished. It's a little bit blocked. But lucky again another set of carbs at the unit were worn but the two parts I took off the twin carbs were at the treat on this one so running lovely idling lovely um, I'm gonna get some leads dizzy cap but massive thanks to Tim while he was here he said I'll take a look at your bread van because since I bought it he's been running terrible even though I put that metal flange on took the carb off and it was just filthy amount of rubbish in it so we took it with him he's got to rebuild it and also make a baker light gasket in between the metal and the carb itself because of the heat then i'll do a little a few little jobs on that put a uk mlt on it because missus bought me that for my 50th <clears throat> even though yeah 50th but going back to the square back Fantastic. His work, knowledge, he telling me so much at my workshop. Brilliant guy. Recommended. Link in the district description, comments, whatever. And yeah, let's get some work going to Tim. If you're in the UK, that is spot on. But now running lovely. Yeah, these carbs are worn. I've said in a previous video. We'll see if we can get a full rebuild kit. If not, it'll be the old Weber's on here, but... Sounds sweet. I just thought I'd stick that up. Two problems, nothing to do with the engine rebuild. Just one of those things. So, thanks for watching. Next video, could it be the wizard? Patina Buck? Nope, there's an incoming. Tomorrow evening. Right, cheers.